Okay, welcome to CNN News. Today, we have a major election, 2024, Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. Joe Biden trying to get re-election, Donald Trump trying to be elected again after serving a four-year term from 2016 to 2021. He's trying to battle for re-election after that. So uh, tonight we will be taking close looks at every state, and uh, the polls will keep closing. It is 6.58 um, p.m. in the East Coast, um, 4.58 p.m. in the West Coast. So uh, stay tuned, and soon the polls will close. But tonight is a serious election as if they are fighting for re-election, Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. Now, this was a, pretty much the same election from 2020, just with a, a, a few extra things, you know? So, we're going to be talking tonight all about this. It is now um, um, 6.59 on the East Coast, and we have one more minute before the first call, before the first polls close. So let's just go over where the polls are going to close. In North Carolina, the polls won't close in North Carolina. They will also close in Ohio, a key battleground state to win the election. They will also close in West Virginia, um, so that would, that's, that's just a normal state. They will also close in Maine. Um, they will also close in Nevada. And they will also close in Arkansas. And, um, Hawaii. And as I was saying that, the polls are about to close. Um, it is almost 7 p.m. on the East Coast. And we have 35 seconds before the next polls close. Now, Let's take a good look at uh, what will happen. So uh, the polls haven't closed yet, but we can look at where they are leading for right now. Well, technically, I could wait till the polls close, but we still have 16 seconds. Um, so um, the polls are closing soon. We are doing a major countdown. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Okay, CNN projections. CNN. Okay, in the state of North Carolina, Donald Trump will win the state of North Carolina. I meant uh, South Carolina. I, I forgot. South Carolina. Donald Trump will carry the state of South Carolina with its nine electoral votes as expected. Ohio right now. Too early to call, but Donald, uh, I mean, uh, but Joe Biden does have a lead right now in Ohio. In Nevada, Donald Trump does have a lead in Nevada right now. In West Virginia, um, the, Joe Biden has a lead in West Virginia right now. And now we can call West Virginia, um, I, uh, sorry, I clicked on Ohio, but we can call West Virginia for Joe Biden tonight, um, and, uh, we cannot call Nevada or Ohio, cause they are, cause, uh, Nevada is too close to call, and Ohio is too early to call, um, so it is almost 7.30 now on the East Coast, um, the, oh, I forgot to, exc I forgot to, uh, Maine. Uh, it is still too early to call in Maine right now, but uh, in Arkansas, Donald Trump will carry the state of Arkansas, three electoral votes for Donald Trump, as expected. In the state of Hawaii, Joe Biden will win Hawaii with its four electoral votes, as expected. Now let's take a look at the electoral map. Uh, the polls, the, the states that have not been decided yet is Nevada, Ohio, and Maine. But uh, CNN will go on all night. Um, 
It is uh so it is seven twenty eight on the east coast. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the next polls that will close. Okay, the polls will now the polls will nextly close in Oregon. Seven electoral votes in Washington. Twelve electoral votes in Vermont. Three electoral votes in Montana. Three electoral votes. In North Dakota, three electoral votes. In South Dakota, three electoral votes. Okay, it is still only 728 on the East Coast right now. Uh, it is almost 729 on the East Coast. We are getting ready for some polls to close at 730. Um, on the west coast, where some of the polls have, are about to close, and polls have closed, um, it is around, well now 7, uh, I mean uh, 6.29 uh, p, uh, p.m. over there on the west coast. On the east coast, it is now 7.29 p.m. on the east coast right now. Uh, so we're getting ready for some major projections soon. When it turns 7.30, the polls will close in the states that I have announced them to close in. And uh, we'll have a, we'll be talking about all the states all night, who will the declared winner be. But as I am speaking, Donald Trump, the declared winner in Ohio, 18 electoral votes. As I was speaking, he took a lead. And he will win Ohio. And now as we are in, um, we will soon enter our key race alert around now. It is now a key race alert. Okay, the polls did just close uh, in the states I recalled earlier. Uh, Washington will go to Michael, I mean, uh, Joe Biden. Oregon will go to Joe Biden. Um, Montana will go to Donald Trump. North Dakota will go to Donald Trump as expected. South Dakota will go to Donald Trump as um expected. Um Vermont will go to Joe Biden as expected. Uh what other states did I call? I can only think of these but the polls have just closed. We'll be going along with them all night. Uh, and as I am speaking, Nevada is going to Michael Foreman. We can now, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, Joe Biden. I'm sorry, I'm getting confused right now. Back to uh, Stopper MC, not the news reporter. I'm getting confused because I'm going to run for president, you know. So I'm getting confused about everything. But, um, Joe Biden. Got to remember that. Okay, Joe Biden has 37 electoral votes. Uh, Donald Trump has 39. Maine is too er, is uh, now too close to call, but in the District 1, um, Joe Biden does have a lead in District 1 right now. So that will get, and he, he is the declared winner there. That's one electoral vote donald trump the declared winner in district two and then the state itself has the two electoral votes that we do not know yet but the districts are um have been chosen all right the next polls will close in okay it is almost 8 p.m around here almost 8 uh, uh, p.m on the east coast the next polls won't close in California, Arizona, Utah, New Mexico, Tex Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Wyoming, Michigan, Florida, Tennessee, Kentucky, North Carolina, Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Washington, D.C., New York, Illinois, um, and Georgia. Uh, it has just turned 8 o'clock on the East Coast. Uh, 7 o'clock on the West Coast. In California, Joe Biden will win the state of California. 55 electoral votes. In Arizona, Donald Trump will win the state of Arizona. Utah, uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, 
and Michigan right now. Uh, Joe Biden will win the state of New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, Kentucky, uh, Tennessee, uh, con- uh, I, I, no, 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 not that state, um, Kentucky, North Carolina, and Virginia. Donald Trump will win the state of Pennsylvania and New York. And uh, Michael Foreman, as we were speaking, has won uh, the state two electoral votes. Joe Biden will win uh, the two electoral votes. Donald Trump will win the state of Illinois, 20 electoral votes. Georgia will go to Joe Biden, um, as expected. Uh, Washington, D.C. will go to Joe Biden, as expected. Uh, Donald Trump will win the state of New Jersey. Not fully expected. Uh, my, I mean, uh, Joe Biden will win the state of Florida. Uh, not really um, expected, but it's a, it's a good win, you know. Uh, so now let's see where things stand on the race to 270. You can now look at the map. This is where things are heading right now. Uh, there is a tie. Joe Biden has 207 electoral votes. Donald Trump has 207 electoral votes. So uh, we'll be uh, we'll be uh, here all night. Uh, the next polls do close in Nebraska, Iowa, um, Delaware, and. Uh, Right now, that is it. Uh, so uh, it, they will close at 8.30. It is 8.29 um, on the East Coast over here. Just turned 8.30. Uh, actually, well, uh, uh, okay, it has just turned 8.30 over here. So uh, Joe Biden will win his home state of Delaware, 3 electoral votes and donald trump will win uh his home state of iowa because uh, now he's saying iowa is his home state uh he for some reason he's saying iowa he was born in iowa but uh so we'll count that as his home state nebraska will go to michael i mean uh, joe biden all five electoral votes okay so the next polls are going to close in Connecticut, uh, Wyoming, and um, pretty much every state left, will the polls will close now. Okay, we can get a key race alert in uh, at a uh, 9 p.m. on the East Coast. It is a uh, heading to 9 p.m., but is not 9 p.m. just yet. But it will be there in around just a few seconds. So, uh, the re-elections battle is going on here. Donald Trump wants to re-win the White House because he was there to 2021, uh, January 20th. He was dragged out of the White House. And Joe Biden is fighting for re-election as he is in the White House right now. He will later make a speech. Uh, he will speak to us. But uh, for right now, the polls are about to close at uh, 9 p.m. And every state left. So uh, we'll get a, a clear look at it all. And uh, we can, we, we'll, we'll give some states. Uh, you know? So... The polls are about to close any second now, but we gotta hope we got. I I don't know who should win, but your vote does count. And as I am talking, the polls have just closed in uh, every state left. Uh, Wisconsin will go to Joe Biden, ten electoral votes. This state, with its eleven electoral votes, will go to Donald Trump. This state with its nine electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. This state with its ten electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. This state with its six electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. This state with its ten electoral votes will go to Joe Biden. This state with its four electoral votes will go to Joe Biden. This state with its eight electoral votes will go to Donald Trump.
This state with its six electoral votes will go to Donald Trump. Connecticut will go to Joe Biden. The state with 10 electoral votes will go to Joe uh, Biden. The state with its four electoral votes will go to Joe Biden. This state with its four electoral votes will go to Joe Biden. And in the final state, the polls are fighting right now. We cannot make a declared winner just yet there. But uh, stay tuned because eventually there will be a declared winner. And as you can see down here, they just have to win that state. Uh, Joe Biden has to win six more electoral votes. And uh, Donald Trump just has to win seven more electoral votes. We will be waiting all night watching this state, seeing what happens and who will carry re-election. Uh, we are now going to take our news break. It has, uh, like, a, a commercial break. It has been a, a long time now. So... Uh, we're going to take a quick break. You will be seeing the map for our break. And uh, there should be some nice uh, music playing in the background. I can get it. So um, stay tuned. Don't leave. And it will be around a, a three-minute wait. Goodbye. Na, 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 Okay, we are back from our commercial break. That was a minute, and uh, more votes have come in from uh, the final state. Donald Trump in the lead right now, but this could change later. He has a small lead, so we cannot declare the race yet. Uh, but we are waiting for more results. Uh, the Senate race tonight. In Arizona, Doug Ducey has been voted out of the White House because we are talking about governors, not senators. Doug Ducey is uh, no longer uh, getting reelected. He did get reelected in 2020, but this is 2024. So, um, yeah, Doug Ducey is no longer the governor, and it is now um, uh, Barack Obama, now known as Governor Obama. Um, so that's the Senate race, and I meant uh, the governor race in Arizona, Governor Obama. As I was saying, that polls have just went up. Joe Biden in the lead in that final state now. He has a uh, a little bit of a big lead right now, but uh, we will not call the state just yet. Not to just keep you waiting, but um, to make this more exciting, to count up all the votes. Uh, we have around uh, 3,000 more votes to count. That should t uh, get us um, a few more minutes. Um, we would put you on commercial break, but we're not going to do that just yet. Um, so I hope we, you do stay tuned as we count up uh, the, the final 3,000 votes as a... Uh, President Biden is about to make a speech. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let um, he's about to make a speech in uh, three minutes and sixty-one seconds. I meant three minutes exactly. So we will um, be have to be staying tuned. Maybe one because I did say a three-minute commercial break. But if he wins that state, he said I will make a statement later tonight. If he wins the final state. Uh, President um, Biden said he will make a speech later. 
Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Wait for us to count the 3,000 votes. We now only have 2,671 more votes to count. So as you can see, this process is going by a little fast. Uh, we're, we're trying to make it go by the fastest we can, so that way you don't have to uh, sit here and um, listen to me. But um, this election is still going on. It's up to that final state that declares the next president. Will it be re-election or re-election from 2020? Stay tuned, and you might just find out soon. Uh, but we are going to take uh, another commercial break due to counting um, votes right now. Um, so you can listen to the music again. And I do hope you like it. We'll be back in around one minute. Na, 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 Okay, we are now back. It has been a minute. There's only 1,000 exactly more votes to count. So in a process of a minute, 2,671 votes were just count. I mean, 1,671 votes were just counted in the process of one minute. So one more minute, and uh, it should all be over uh, as I am speaking. Uh, more votes are being counted, and we can declare the winner in that state. Will it either be Joe Biden, well, well, actually, will it either be President Biden or uh, former President Donald Trump? We will be here all night. Um, the votes are almost done. There's only 10 more votes to count as I am speaking. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... One, they counted all the votes, and this is a historical moment. You can wait uh, one moment now, uh, if we can, to see who the winner is. Uh, listen to this very relaxing sound. And if you want to know what this song was, it was from King Kong, King Kong, King Kong. Kong, just listen to my noise and you'll be stunned, be stunned, be stunned. If you listen to King Kong, King Kong, you'll be stunned, 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 stunned. If you listen to King Kong. You'll be stunned. Okay, we are back. We just looked, and this is a historical moment. Joe Biden has won the state, getting re-election now. Joe Biden has been re-elected president of the United States. Um, president Biden now will speak later once he finds this out. He is supposed to speak uh, a few moments ago, but he was waiting Um. And now uh, it is clear, so he will speak later. But uh, yeah, that that this has been CNN um, all night in election night. This has been CNN tonight. Thank you. Back to Jake Tapper. Uh, wow, he's been reelected president. Another four years in office. Of course, uh, Joe Biden um uh, is too old. Uh, soon, so Kamala Harris will take over, and uh, she will become president.
But uh, this is a good moment, you know. I hate to say it, but I hate Donald Trump. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm an independent. I love both. I'm just kidding. I love both, but um, yeah. Joe Biden has been reelected the president of the United States of America. He is still the 46th president of the United States. Okay, this will be CNN for tonight. We will see you tomorrow morning at uh, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, uh, 5 in the uh, five o'clock uh, West Coast Time, Western Time. Uh, for now, that has been CNN tonight. Thank you for watching.